Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's side. How the devil are you, mate? Are you snug as a bug in a rug in bed? Huh? Maybe not. Maybe you're in the lounge, you're chilling out. Maybe you're on your mobile phone. Who cares? Because today, we're looking into the paranormal. And we know that paranormal can be everywhere, lingering at any point in time, ready to pounce. Okay? Anyway, we're looking at a channel called... Mind Junkie. Make sure you go over to Mind Junkie's channel. Subscribe. And do the thing, okay? This one is called Eight Scary Videos You Won't Dare to Finish. <laughs> I'll I will finish them, okay? Because I Rambo stuff. And let's see if you can get to the very end, okay? Alright? <laughs> anyway, without further ado, Dark Diddly Day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, Mind Junkie! The Shadow in the Mirror Jamo230 or Jess, who lives in Maine, USA, works as a nurse at a psychiatric hospital. She's covering the night shift all by herself and things are pretty slow until she suddenly notices something that didn't look quite right. Mm. She grabs her phone and hits record. Okay, there's nobody here, right? Nobody here. What is that? Because it is not me. This is me leaving, closing the door. I think I've seen this one, mate, but that is... I mean, is she bored and just doing this with her, uh, with her, with her mate or something? But that's freaky, man. Okay. Oh, it's turning. Oh, no, that's a door. Is that a door? I don't know. Just watch it, Ben. Opening. But yeah. Hang on, I, I, I've, I've spoken too much. Let's see it again. Record. Okay, there's nobody here, right? Nobody here. What is that? Because that it is not me. This is me leaving, closing the door. So. Oh, I see what she's doing now. I finally see what she's doing because I'm paying attention. Comes the door back opening, and nobody's there. But yet, oh, mate, that's got to be a shadow of some sort. It looks like it looks like the animated series of Batman right there. Oh, I can see her moving here. Look. Looking up at the convex safety mirror oh. in the corridor outside her workstation, Jess sees what looks like a shadowy figure reflected right back at her. And yet, there doesn't seem to be anyone mm. else around. So I haven't seen that one. I've seen something similar where they look at something in the mirror, but then they, they, they turn to see where it was and it's not there. And it, the mirror is showing something different. That's something new, mate. I've not seen that. Ooh, that's good. Oh, just what exactly is this? Because some oh. people say that certain paranormal beings, you can only see through mirrors. Much is known about this clip other than what Jess herself has told us. But according to her, she believes she caught a ghost on camera mm. that night. But what do you think this is? Is it a ghost as Jess believes? Let me know down below. Housekeeping ward. Rafaela Cortez <laughs> is a Chilean woman living in Ireland, working in housekeeping. She often chats with her friends on the phone to pass the time while cleaning guests' rooms. Mm. Everything is going as it should, and Rafaela is just about to finish cleaning a bathroom. Feeling accomplished, she snaps a quick- Hey, bloody Ryan from Twin Paranormal is looking a bit different, isn't he? <laughs> Because <laughs> it's a different kind of hair. <laughs> that, that's, it's just the hair, okay? No hate. Photo in the mirror to send to her friend. However, this seemingly innocent photo is not what it seems. Mm. Look oh, closely. Mate, f photos always freak me out. I can tell, mate. This is going to freak me out. Yeah. We now I'm going to photo. show the picture. Mm. The First to say that I sent this picture to my best friend. My best friend is always... I'll let you read it. 
Pero esta foto literalmente a todos nos dejó así. You can literally see the person. Porque se ve literalmente la persona en su máximo esplendor. O sea, o sea esa silueta se logra ver casi perfecto. Como pueden ver acá en la foto, the acá silhouette. estoy yo, Para mi amiga hace una foto, literalmente foto para el WhatsApp. Y yo no me percaté de esto. Yo no me percaté de eso. Yo saqué la foto, me puse a limpiar el baño porque uso guantes para limpiar los baños. Entonces saqué la foto, me puse los guantes y de ahí no agarré más ese lado. Y después me puse a ver la foto. Creo que la Melissa me dijo así como, oye, ¿qué onda la foto? Y yo la vi y quedé así. Are we looking at this here? With the little sticky legs. Choqueaba. Y lo prometo por mi abuelita, por mi gatita que falleció, que no es mentira. Rafaela's eagle-eyed friend spots a silhouette in the glass door of the shower, oh. almost as if someone or something is standing inside of it. Oh, But yeah. there's no one there. Rafaela's friend immediately replies to her, alerting her of the presence of the shadowy silhouette. But when Rafaela checks, whatever her friend saw seems to have disappeared. Oh. De hecho, esa foto nos dejó a todos chequeados, o sea, la gente de la estación de policía me decía, es que es imposible, yo decía, ay no, es imposible, pero no sé cómo pasó, no sé en qué momento pasó, no sé por qué no la vi antes, o sea, no me fijé, mandé la foto y listo, o sea, como que no me preocupé de la foto hasta que mi amigo me dijo, hey, ¿quién está en la foto? Y tengo un video, <risa> tengo un video del lugar porque un amigo me decía así como, pero es imposible, yo... No sé, pero es como un misterio. De hecho, el video está en inglés, <laughs> pero lo voy a poner igual para que vean como el lugar. When I close the door, if someone stay inside, is, do you know, like, can I see? <laughs> can I see everything for the woman or for the man? I don't know. But <laughs> I think so. It's just a mystery. So, if the right. shower is empty, just what? He's yeah, who are you? Who the fuck are you, you six foot bitch? This. Rafaela and her friend, as well as several of her viewers, think that whoever or whatever this is, is something paranormal. But what do you think this is? Oh, mate, imagine showering and then that just pops up in front of you, eh? No, that would be bad. Share your thoughts below. <laughs> The Red Eye Watcher. I was a red this eye yesterday. This next creepy video was shared to the R Dogman subreddit by Reddit user Lazy Brother One Four Three Six, who <laughs> thinks their house is cursed. According Ooh. to the OP, the property has a deeply tragic past. Both it was built on a graveyard. <laughs> their grandparents and their sibling sadly passed away inside the house oh. most recently the op's husband was involved in an accident just yards from the house and he had to be rushed to hospital since their husband returned from the hospital the couple have been unable to shake the feeling that something isn't quite right Creepy and unsettling events keep occurring in the house. The Even the family dog inexplicably barks, as if she is trying to warn her owners of an imminent danger. Mm. Late one night, while the OP was relaxing at home, they heard a terrifying scream coming from their backyard, and their dog alerts them to something. Wanting to record the evidence, the OP starts recording on their phone, and what they caught has left Redditors terrified. Mm. Oh, mate, this ain't good. This ain't good. I oh, shush. Shush. Hey, that that has got a really weird sense to it, isn't it? It's got a really weird feel to that place. I know I'm not there, but mentally I'm there, mate. Looking at it, huh? Look at the state of the place. It's got that dark feeling. Look at the eyeballs. Oh, they're red.
Oh, what? Is that a car? Oh, no. Oh, mate, it's looking like that. A pair of glowing red eyes can be seen staring in through one of the windows, just watching the OP from the darkness. Apparently, this isn't the first time the OP has seen these eyes before, and it has led them to believe that they are being haunted by something. But what's your verdict on this? Is Redditor Lazy mm. Brother 1436 really being haunted? And if not, just who or what? Do these glowing red eyes belong I to? I don't know, but the dog don't like it, mate. Let me know. An eerie family photo. Gwaini Rubio was looking through some old family photos one night when one in particular catches her eye. The photo in question shows Kwani and her family standing outside an old church. At first glance, the photo looks normal. But when Kawani looked a little closer, she was shocked beyond words. Kawani decides to share it to her social media page in the hopes that someone can provide her with answers. Teve uma época que eu morava no interior de Minas Gerais e morava eu, minha mãe, minha irmã e meu padrasto. Começou a acontecer umas coisas muito bizarras, muito estranhas mesmo no nosso apartamento. A gente morava no 12º andar. E tava tipo uma loucura, a gente já não sabia mais o que fazer. Minha mãe tava com tanto medo que ela colocou grade na janela. Com medo de acontecer alguma coisa com a gente, né? Comigo e com a minha irmã. Tá, aí chegou um belo dia, a gente decidiu ir pra Tiradentes. Uma cidade, né? Famosa pela sua história. Ela é bem antiga. É, tem, tem, tem muita história mesmo pesada, né? Tanto com Tiradentes, o médico, o dentista morreu lá, né? Enforcado na praça pra todo mundo ver. Enfim, é uma cidade que quando você chega, gente, você já sente o clima hum. pesar de uma forma. E a gente foi visitar uma igreja, a mais famosa, uma amarela que tem lá. Quando a gente chegou nessa igreja, antigamente eu não sabia. Era muito comum que os cemitérios, eles, é, eles existiam do lado da igreja, literalmente do lado, tipo no quintal. As pessoas eram enterradas... Na igreja, praticamente, no quintal da igreja. Eu não sabia disso. Tiramos uma foto de frente à igreja. Gente, olhem a foto. Olhem essa foto. Basicamente, não tem nada, né? A minha irmã é essa primeira, minha mãe a segunda, eu de saia rosa horrorosa e minha prima. Não tem nada, né? Agora eu vou sair daqui. Gente. Boa. What? Foquem aqui no lado esquerdo da minha irmã. Focus on the side of the zoom. Bem na porta da igreja. Eu vou colocar essa foto. Okay, stop dragging out! Just show us! Gente, eu morro de medo disso. Foi meu padrasto que viu na época. Eu vou mostrar. Gente, oh, vocês estão. What the fuck is that? Who the fuck are you? Look at you with your bloody jazz hands, huh? Vendo, pelo amor de Deus. Eu mostrei pro meu professor. She sounds like a minion sometimes. <risos> professor de física. Ele What não conseguiu falar. Hell? Não, não tem nada refletindo pra ser um, um reflexo de alguém. Gente, olha isso. Olha a cara, parece os Volturi. Olha aqui, olha a cruz no meio. Vocês estão vendo a cruz no meio? Aqui, a cruz. Tem uma cruz aqui. Cadê? Aqui embaixo. A mão. Olha a mão. Oh, yeah, 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 olha... yeah, 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 the cross, the cross. I can see the cross. Esse rosto com esse olho olhando diretamente para cá. Gente, vocês estão vendo isso? The background of Kawani's family photo, a translucent human-like figure can be seen just standing there. Oh, no, sorry. There's a cross. But there's the cross she's on about. There's the bloody cross. Anyway, how many fingers she's got? One, two, three, four, five. They're okay, there is five fingers. Commenters on this video believe that Kawani inadvertently caught a ghost on camera. But what do you think? Is this a ghost? Comment below and let Look at the state of it, mate. Of course it's a bloody ghost. Although I don't really believe in ghosts, but this is definitely something weird here going on. Is it? Have we had a little glimpse in the realm of the paranormal? Do I now believe in the ghosty wosties, the paranormal? Well, I sort of do, but I don't know. That's weird. I can't explain that. 
could be a double image, could be fake, could be AI, but it could be an actual ghost. Who am I to say? I don't know. It could be. I'm not ruling it out, right? I'm very open to the idea of ghosty wosties. But that is freaky deaky, mate. But look at the bloody... Like, what is that? Christmas... What is that animated Christmas Tim Burton film? Like, that's what it reminds me of. Look at the black eyes and the white balls in the middle. Huh? Hmm? Is that Edward Scissorhands? Let me know. Potential danger. This next creepy video comes from the popular urban exploration channel, Finders Beepers, History Seekers, hey! and it has been shared before, but no other channels have featured it recently. Thanks again for everybody who supported Andy, mate. You bloody legends. Hey. In the video, Matt and Andy explore an old abandoned farmhouse somewhere in Yorkshire, England. Matt's dog Bear joins them with a the GoPro strapped to his back and a light attached to his collar. As soon as the trio enter the old farmhouse, Bear begins to act a little bit different. He anxiously runs around, with his nose pressed against the ground as if he's caught the scent of something and he's trying to find it. Little do Matt and Andy know. Go find it. Go find it. Find it. Little do Matt and Andy know what I said in the next sentence. <laughs> Where is it? There's something weird about this place. I feel like we've just had the worst start to a video ever because Bear's just all over the place and I don't know what you're doing snorting up. Oh, and Rope's <laughs> cupboards, to be fair. What we got in here? We've got not very much in the bottom. Is there anything in the... Wow. Are you like a whistle? I didn't hear it. Where's Bear? Bear? <whistles> My concern is that... Oh, he's upstairs. Bear? I didn't hear it. Did I? Did you hear it? Bear? Bear? Oh, he's coming now. That worried me. I thought he'd hurt himself or something, or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. You little fool, there's something going on with you today. Unless he's caught something. After Bear disappears upstairs for a couple of minutes, Matt and Andy start to feel concerned when they can't find him. Suddenly, they hear him barking and whimpering from upstairs. But when he joins them, they assume all is well and carry on with their exploration. But while they sift through a pile of old books in one of the bedrooms, Bear sneaks off again. I'm gonna have a quick look on this bed, see if I can find anything else. Rabbit. What is he? What you found? That's a cute dog. I wonder if there's someone outside. Matt and Andy hear Bear barking upstairs again. This time, the pair decide to follow Bear upstairs. Is he? Like, is it out of a bathroom or something? Like an old bathroom cabinet. Unless we've got the USB thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lock. Yeah. Is it side? It's supposed to be sideways, that's why. It goes sideways. Yeah. You, no, you like turn the whole thing yeah. though, don't you? And then that's... Why has that got a lock on it though for a bathroom cabinet? That makes no sense. Medicines? <gasps> that dog's shivering, mate. Someone's He's Rambo in it. Down those stairs. Listen. Someone has definitely just, just run down those stairs. Where is he, Ben? Mate, that dog blatantly knows that there's something there, mate. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> Unless it's a bloody good actor. Hello? Hello? After a thorough search of the ground floor, none of them find anything, but then Matt remembers the GoPro strapped to Bear's back. They decide to check the footage, and what they find creeps them the f out. <laughs> we can watch his footage back. I'll have to do it on his camera. Yeah. Come on. 
hiding underneath one of the beds, staring right back at him. Matt and Andy decide to check what? out the bedroom where the person was spotted. What the? F are you having a laugh, mate? Hiding underneath one of the beds, staring right back at him. Uh, what? But if you if you're wondering why the the clips are a little bit jiggity jaggedy, like stopping and, and stuttering and stuff like that, um, Mind Junkie had to cut a few bits out for purposes like he he can't he can't avoid. Matt and Andy decide to check out the bedroom where the person was spotted. Absolutely shitting my pants. But yeah, we'd come up here, and whoever it was, from what I can see. Even f go downstairs ever and again. I'm living up here now. <laughs> yeah, it's here, look. They've been under there. Whoever oh, it was, was under there. That's Andy, freaky. Do do <laughs> this is horrible, Andy. I can deal with spooky, ghosty things, but real people. People are just. Unpredictable. If they yeah, under a bed, just some crackhead underneath the bed, mate. Eh? Oh, God. In an abandoned house. Let's kick him in the head. Right first place. If Bear hadn't alerted us to it, what would happen when we came upstairs? Oh, mate, yeah. God knows. That's, that's the thing that worries me. Somebody under the bed has just jumped out and grabbed me. Yeah, it's grabbed your leg from under bed. It's like every child's nightmare, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Trust me, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't have been in here. I would have been booting him in the head. There would have been an Andrew shaped hole in the door. <laughs> like, honest to God, I wouldn't have hung him about. Forget it. This scary moment has left much. I would fucking Rambo it. I would uh, get, get, just get out. What are we going to waste energy on you? Get out. And you take one look at the, the, the intention in my eyes. And he'd be fucking gone. Nandy and their viewers creeped out. And as Matt says, if Bear hadn't been with them that night to warn them of the potential danger, who knows what could have happened. Mm. Thankfully, Matt, Andy and Bear all made it out safely. Nice, nice. Haunted restaurant or publicly... What? Safely. Haunted restaurant or publicity stunt. Gracie's Arts and Supper Club is a fine dining restaurant in the city of Valletta, Malta. Mm. The restaurant regularly posts their promotions, events, and new dishes to social media, like many restaurants do. However, late one night, one of the restaurant's CCTV cameras captured something which the owners can't explain. They decided to upload it to the restaurant's social media and it quickly gained traction. Here's the footage. Mate, if I legit saw that in real life, okay? Like I went to do an investigation in that place and I looked at the CCTV and I saw that. That would convince me that paranormal, not paranormal, ghosty wosties, ghosts exist. That would be it then, okay? I'd be like, right. They exist, okay? I'm a believer! Captured on the restaurant CCTV camera in the middle of the night, a translucent figure can be seen walking down With the stairs. With his hands in his pockets and everything. Stairs before it disappears into thin air. Commenters on this video were left spooked by this clip, with many not surprised due to the history of the restaurant's location. However, some just weren't convinced, claiming that the restaurant did this as a publicity stunt. But what do you think? Ghost caught on camera? Comment below with your thoughts. See, that's the thing. Whenever you get footage like that, you know, that could be one of the best ghost captures in history. Okay? Could be. But because it's so good, there's going to be people out there saying, ah, no, it's fake. <laughs> you can't win, man. You can't win. If you've got this far and you're liking the video so far and you're liking my reactions to the paranormal and also you're interested in the UFOs and the aliens and the weird and wonderful things going on around the world, which is a little bit more of a serious take, please consider subscribing because then you won't miss an upload when I do upload, okay? Okay, let's carry on with the video. Ovilus warns dangerous. The next creepy video for today comes from the popular ghost hunting channel, 
Franco TV. Hey, In the Franco. video, Frank conducts a paranormal investigation at a huge cemetery somewhere in Florida, USA. Mm. The cemetery is the subject of several local legends, most notably that it is haunted by the ghost of a vengeful old lady who passed away in tragic circumstances. Not long after beginning his ghost hunt, Frank begins to hear strange noises and things get creepy from here. So I don't see that. I just heard a noise up there. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. Something moaning or crying on the outside. I heard the moan. Or someone yelling. It's about like one or two right now. So I don't know who's going to be moaning and yelling and it's just echoing into this location. Frank hears what sounds like crying or moaning coming from somewhere in the darkness. Despite the chilling atmosphere, Frank continues his exploration when a sudden metallic clanging draws his attention and he hurries to investigate. He finds himself looking right at the tomb of the old lady who is said to haunt the cemetery. And oh. this is where things start to get really... Do you, remember, do you remember that video that Franco did where that woman was sat down and then she just looks to the right and looks at him? How freaky deaky was that? Creepy. I did hear like a sound of a metal hitting further back there. But nothing. It scared me enough to just run up here to look. I'm looking at the old lady tomb right now, and I see something. <gasps> Holy sh What? I'm gonna switch to color mode. Right now I'm looking into the room. I know it looks a little bit grainy. I'll go ahead and turn on the light. Are we, are we looking at this? Why is it glowing up red like that? What is that? When I turn on the light and I turn it off, it looks like there's something just standing there. I'm getting eaten alive by these mosquitoes. Oh, there must be like a, a light in in the background there somewhere. See it? Yeah, I do see it, mate. I, I guess I can see it. Say something dark. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light again. It could be just the gate. I'm not sure, but it looks like something standing there. Round the way. Frank's thermal imaging camera picks up the heat signature of something in the entrance to the old lady's tomb. But when he switches to a different setting and shines his flashlight in the area, there's nothing there. Moments later, Frank gathers his courage and enters the tomb, bringing a bunch of sage incense to purify the area and an ovulus, a device that detects fluctuations in the electromagnetic field and translates them into words. Devices at the ready, Frank ends up capturing this. Well, that's ovulus. Let's <laughs> carry on. Is there anyone out here with me that would like to talk? He's always sweating his tits off, isn't he? Are you sure? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Dangerous. Please no, it's all herbal, man. The device utters the word <laughs> dangerous, but that doesn't deter Frank. He continues on with his investigation, asking more questions. The name Jones comes through Frank's device, and then, not long later, Frank comes across this. I just Hugh realized Jackman. that right over here says Jones, and Jones is the name that the 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 ovulus was just talking about. Is your name Jones? Hold on, let me see if I can lower the brightness on this thing. Listen. Found me. Found me. So it is Jones. The thing just said found me. The Ovilus says the words found me, thereby suggesting something truly chilling that Frank is communicating with the spirit of the person buried in the grave bearing the name Jones. Throughout his time inside the tomb, Frank says he's been hearing a helicopter circulating in the sky. Thinking that it might be a police helicopter searching the area for a criminal, Frank feels a bit on edge. And that's oh, when he spots movement in the distance. I can see somebody. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Towards the statues. Oh, here we go. Welcome the weirdos, mate. The cult weirdos. Oh, for God. How many times do I have to say? Look at the state of these lot. I, just fucking start watching EastEnders or something, right?
Like I've said, get a hobby and not this type of hobby. Christ almighty. Look at them. Way out there. Get a in job. distance, Frank's night vision camera catches a mysterious white figure wanting to get a closer look. Frank makes his way towards it, and maybe he shouldn't have. I'm gonna turn on my flashlight. I don't even see them. Wait, I think I do. Oh. Look. Oh, they're, they're statues. Okay, they've literally got a job. They're doing their job now. They're standing there. Off from this one weirdo Freaking bastard. Light. There we go. They're way up there. I think I've seen this one. I've got to be honest. They're just walking back and forth. I want to make sure there's nobody else around. Oh, look. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've seen this one, mate. How God. weird is this? Dad. Oh, I want to go. Oh, growl. Oh, God, look at you, Wibble Wobble. I would have ran straight towards him as fast as I could, slightly faster than Usain Bolt. Right? And then jumped and flying kicked him in the fucking head. Say, so who the hell are you trying to scare me, mate? Huh? Holy that is so fucking creepy. There's somebody fucking running. I said, run him over! No, don't, no, don't do that. Towards the front. That was a creepy shit I've ever seen. I don't know what that was. I thought it looked like a crackhead or some sort of... Yeah, definitely a crackhead. ...homeless head. person out there. But when I saw that thing running towards me, that freaked me the hell out. All of a sudden, whoever Frank was approaching notices him and begins to... I run. wonder what would have happened, though. What he... What he would have done... Right? Because he's obviously running towards you, trying to scare you, and like, you know? If you actually just went, no. And just turned around. And just went... <sighs> he would have been like going... <laughs> straight at him and Frank flees in fear with whoever this is still chasing him. Luckily, Frank makes it back to his car and drives out of the cemetery. Now, whether or not the figure Frank captured on camera was anything paranormal is up for debate, but suddenly the first word that Ovalus said seems shockingly relevant. Mm. Dangerous. So, what or who was this Frank captured on his night vision camera? And was there a spirit in the tomb that was trying to warn Frank before it was too late? Or was it all staged? As some of you like to mention in the comments whenever I post a Franco clip, I do read every single comment. Let me know. I think Franco gets a bit, you know, um, tough love sometimes because the stuff that I've seen of Franco looks pretty damn good, you know? Um, there was one as well where I saw like a, like a transparent, a half transparent figure and it looked like a ghost walking alongside of the wall it was by a tree i can't remember mate but i did see one i was like this looks pretty damn legit and he's does very does very good stuff like i told you about that old granny that just started looking at him in that weird man i might have to start reacting to him again you know <clears throat> it's behind you the final clip in this week's video was posted to the internet by Hannah Holloway after she started seeing something creepy in her apartment. Mm. Whenever Hannah tried to record a selfie, someone or something creepily appears behind her. Straight from Scooby-Doo. Uh, she can see it on her phone screen, but when she looks behind her, no one's ever there. This went on for several weeks, oh, but mate. then one night, 
Hannah manages to capture whatever has been lurking behind her on camera. Oh. Okay, I am recording this to see if anyone can help me. I started seeing it a few days ago when I got back from my mom's house. I thought it was a shadow or I thought it was... Hi. Was that a freaky deaky ghosty woasty voice in the background? Listen, shush! Okay, I am recording this to see if anyone can help me. I started seeing it a few days ago when I got back from my mom's house. I first thought it was a shadow or I thought it was- What was that? Help me. I started seeing it a few days ago when I got back from my mom's house. I first thought it was a shadow or I thought it was just something that like wasn't there. And now I'm pretty sure it's in here with me. So I'm gonna see if I can get it on camera, okay? So I'm just gonna be talking. And scene. Show yourself! <sighs> okay, I'm pretty sure I got it, but I'm gonna check. Okay, I definitely got it. So, the, the weird thing is, is that if I, if I don't check- Oh, bleh. Listen, listen, shush! So, the, the weird thing is, is that if I, if I don't check on it, every so often it starts this. Oh, God. Oh, mate. Oh, look at the hand. The figures of death. Oh, my fucking God, mate. I know this is fake as shit. Okay, I know it's fake as shit, but it's freaky deaky, and this is what it's all about, mate. I like getting freaked out because I'm twisted metal black. But and also, this also says film quite clearly here. <laughs> Anna is recording a video. Someone or something can be seen standing oh, in the darkness right wow. outside her door, staring eerily at her. Creeped oh. out, Hannah checks the footage and then tapping can be heard behind her. She turns the camera and what looks like a hand can be seen tapping on the door frame. The video then ends shortly afterwards. Now, viewers' opinions of this video are mixed. Some believe that Hannah is being haunted by oh, something evil, no. but others are pretty skeptical and believe Hannah staged the whole thing for internet fame due to how scripted it feels and how quickly the video cuts off. But ultimately, what's your opinion on this video? Look at the arm, mate. Look at the bloody, look at the go-go gadget arms that she's got on her, man. The fucking go-go gadget chin as well. Yeah, it's blatantly fake, but it's pretty good. Yo, is Hannah being haunted or was it all just for views? Mm. You tell me. Well, there you go, mate. That was epic, as always, from Mind Junkie. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like it, and I hope that you come back. And I hope that you've subscribed or checked that you subscribed or whatever, mate. Anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.